Hey guys, so yeah, I'm kind of like rocking a super goth look today, but uh, that's not what this video is about. Um, this video is about this little doohickey thing, and sorry if I'm like breathing weird while I'm doing this, it's because I'm laying on my stomach, and whenever I seem to be laying on my stomach and talking, it's like, I don't know, it's kind of hard for me to breathe, but it's the only way that I could get my camera in a decent lighting and talk to you. So I'm just going to kind of run through the questions that I've been getting a lot on my Instagram and Tumblr about my septum piercing. And uh, yeah, okay, so first thing that everybody always wants to know is the pain tolerance or the pain scale. Um, and I'm going to sound like a broken record player because you've probably heard it all before, but pain is relevant uh, to the person. It is different for everybody, um, and I have a perfect story to go along with this. When I was in New York, which is where I got this done on my vacation, um, I got it done at a place called Moonsheen. Really awesome place, I suggest uh, going to there if you're in the downtown I think Manhattan area is where we were at near like Chinatown and whatnot um yeah so me and a friend both decided we wanted to get it done um as a little like token of New York and also I've wanted it for a long while um and I got mine done first thought it didn't hurt at all she got hers done second and thought that it was worse than anything she'd felt piercing wise before and that she would rather sit through a long tattoo than get it done so that was kind of like the perfect example about how pain is like relevant you know um to the person um, so yeah, sorry, that's about as best as it's going to get when you ask somebody the, their pain scale. I can tell you personally that mine didn't hurt, but it's going to differ for everybody. Um, the second question I get a lot is where is it pierced? If you feel inside your nose like this, as unflattering as it looks, um, you will feel what is called the, uh, sweet spot, and it's this very thin piece of skin between your nose, your cartilage right here, and your nose. Um, and that is where it's pierced. It's generally pierced more up, so like kind of upwards here, um, and uh, yeah, some people do not have sweet spots, uh, some people have deviated septums, and that means that sometimes it is actually pierced through the cartilage, but this is actually very rare. So talk to your piercer beforehand and ask them questions, and you know, they should be able to tell you where exactly it'll be pierced. Um, another question I get asked a lot is, can they pierce it with like a labret? I think it's what it's called, it's like a bar. Um, the answer to that is most places won't, but you can find some place that is. I would not suggest it. The reason why uh, the jewelry is this that they usually give you is because that's what you can use to have it heal properly. It's the same that goes for the trigus. If you look at the, like I have a trigus right here, I don't know if you can see it. Um, but I have that pierced with a hoop. And the reason why they pierce it with a hoop is because it prevents poor skin growth from coming back. I've seen people get their trigus pierced with like, you know, the little studs and then have skin grow back over it. Um, and how to get it sliced out. So having a hoop prevents poor skin growth and uh, makes it heal in the proper way. You know, most of your jewelry is going to be curved, so having it heal on a curved piece of jewelry is the smartest decision. Um, but the reason why a lot of people want to get it pierced with a bar is because they want to flip it up maybe for work reasons or like other reasons or whatnot. Um, but the good thing is, is you can flip your jewelry up the minute you get it pierced. However, I would suggest not constantly flipping it up and down. Flip it up if you have to go to work and then do not touch it until you come back and then you can flip it down. The reason for this is because while it's healing it kind of scabs and it crusts so that's another question I get does it crust does it scab yes it does it's totally normal do not pick it do not touch it whatever um, that scab is the healing process basically so when you're moving it up and down up and down like I can show you I'll hide mine real fast like that um, when you move it up and down you are pulling on the skin that's healing it's almost like ripping off a scab that's trying to heal you know like a wound um, so what I suggest for people who want to flip it up and down, because I do flip mine up for work because my grandparents work there and I really don't need to have the talk with them about my piercing choices, um, is clean it and then flip it up. Come back home, clean it, and then flip it down. The reason why I suggest cleaning it and then flipping it and not, like, the reason why I suggest flipping it after you clean it is because once you clean it, your skin is very loose, um, and kind of like soft and you know it's not like crusty and tight you know because like you're you basically warmed it up and you cleaned it enough so like you have so it'll you'll you'll be able to tell that you can move it easily so that's when I suggest flipping it up and down after you clean it because the skin is loose and it's not like super tender or anything um, another question I get is how do I clean it I clean it with soap and water using a q-tip um, like soap on one side, suds it up, and then water on the other side of the q-tip, and then clean it off. And then I do that in the morning, and I do that at night, and then I also bought an H2O Ocean Spray, which is like a saline solution. You can get it at the place where they pierce you, um, and I just spray that in my nose two to three times a day just to keep it clean. Um, 
Yeah, that's basically all the questions I get. Um, it does kind of get a little crooked sometimes. It's only annoyance is having to constantly straighten it out, but I think it's really cute and it's one of those piercings that you can hide if you want, which is cool, you know, and I actually can like put it back down without even like <laughs> um, having to go inside my nose. Um, and yeah, and like don't be worried if you're worried about like do I have the right nose for it? Because that was like my constant fear. I was like, I don't have a pixie nose. I don't have this kind of nose. It's not going to look cute on me. If you can tell I have a long nose or a big nose or whatever the hell you want to call it. And eventually we're just like, you know what? I want to do this for myself. And I did. And I love it. And I think it looks really good with my face. And it'll look absolutely gorgeous with your face too. Um, so yeah, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask me, but those are the majority of the questions I get with my septum piercing. So, hope this was helpful in some way or another, um, and, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!